We are back with an actor who's been entertaining us since the 1980s. John Cryer shot to stardom after his breakout role of Ducky in the classic film Pretty in Pink. He then earned two Emmys for playing Alan Harper on the hit show Two and a Half Men. Well, now he's back in the upcoming NBC series called Extended Family as Jim, a recently divorced father of two. So Jim and his ex-wife Julia are hoping to reframe their separation to a positive experience, choosing to celebrate the end of their marriage in quite the interesting way. And then he asked us to lie. So for our divorce, we decided to go back to the church where we were married. To host what we called the very first reverse wedding ceremony. <laughs> so we gathered friends and family. I slipped into my old wedding dress. I stepped into a cheap suit and an even cheaper wig to resemble how I looked that day. We stood at the altar. Took rings off of fingers. <laughs> I'm going to pawn these. <laughs> pawn this, too. Good. Uh, <laughs> Hi, welcome. Hey. You know what? We're laughing. This show is a lot of anticipation. Oh, uh, good. Congratulations on the sitcom. Oh, uh, you're you. featured on the cover of the latest um, TV Guide magazine. But it might be because there's this interesting detail um, in the show. Tell me about the concept of nesting and oh. how it factors into the relationship on the show. Well, obviously, you know, divorce is a very difficult experience yes. and uh, uh, and it's very difficult on the kids. Um, well, a lot of people, and, and this was something that was news to me, uh, are, are deciding that instead of uh, having two different homes that the kids shuttle back and forth uh, okay. with, they, have, they let the kids oh, stay in one place and the parents go back and forth. Huh. Um, yes, yeah, and uh, so our show was actually very loosely inspired by, uh, the, the, turns out the owner of the Boston Celtics is doing that, where he's okay. sharing an apartment with his wife's ex-husband mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you know it, so interesting. And it works. yeah and it works yeah. in, in many ways there 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 is a wonderful friendship there mm -hmm. uh, and and what the show is really about is is uh, divorced people trying to find that kernel of friendship that got them together to begin with uh, you know and and maintain that for the sake nice. of the kids Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but it's also very funny and the cast is nuts oh, <laughs> this awesome. is nuts i yeah. So we saw Donald Faison there. He is actually the owner of the Boston Celtics. Not him personally, but his but character. Yes, he would like to be. Was it <laughs> <laughs> He's said that on many occasions. Yes. <laughs> is it true that you were actually considering that role oh yeah the well beginning? when they first uh, came to me they they said uh, would you like to play the owner of the boston celtics and i was like will i get to wear nice suits like this <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> but it was interesting in, in in working through the script with the the, the writer michael malley we just realized that jim was just much more me mm -hmm. uh, uh i mean as as great as i look <laughs> in a suit <laughs> um, an ode to al roker yes yeah. exactly well. exactly uh, we all try, have our tributes to al roker <laughs> Way. Uh, Hair, <laughs> exactly, exactly. But you know what's great about this show, John? I mean, first of all, Michael Mallow, just one of the great uh, mm. comics and writers. Uh, but also, you got Abigail. She was with us at, uh, at the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And what's great about this this great feel, throwback feel, like a, mm -hmm. a four camera sitcom shot in mm. front of a live studio audience. You know, it just feels good. Oh well, thank you. It, 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 it's so it feels so great to be back in front of an audience for me. I mean, obviously, Two and a Half Men ended, I think, in twenty. Uh, 15? Gosh. Yeah, 2015. Mm -hmm. um, and and obviously there was COVID, so a lot of the, the yeah. multi-camera shows shut down and just wouldn't shoot with an audience. Um, but we, you know, from day one have been shooting with a live audience and, uh, and, and it's, it, you know, it's just a different vibe. It, it allows you to have so much more fun and to be so much more loose and, and to really work on the comedy in front of people. Because yeah. you hear the laughs. Because you hear the laughs. And, and when, you, when you don't hear the laughs, <laughs> that's when you know... <laughs> But you got to do some work. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> exactly, um, exactly. That show's going to drop in a few days. You're, gonna, mm -hmm. you're on another show tonight on NBC, Password. Password. Yay. So I was going through my feed, and I, you, you said the competition was pretty intense. It, I, well, okay, I've never done a game show before, ever. Uh, and when you get there, you know, you got, it's a game show. It's like, yeah. a, it's just fun, and everybody it's just fun. has fun, and they talk about it. Okay. No, <laughs> uh, it's very serious when you get there because really? people are playing. Well, because your contestants are yeah. playing for real money. Oh, you know, it really is. This is these are life changing amounts of money true. for some of these people. Right. You know, uh, uh, and and they're so they're so earnest and happy to be there and so excited and you know it's kind of an otherworldly experience for them That's in many funny. respects. So was there pressure for you then? there? No, nobody put it on me yeah, except me. Right. You, don't, you just don't want to be that idiot who gives the dumb password. <laughs> and, and and I was this close several times. 
times, uh, uh, and Fallon, Jimmy Fallon, you know, he's fun and ha-ha funny, but he is brutal <laughs> oh. at passwords. Oh, man. Uh, brutal. Very, very talented uh, gentleman, unfortunately. <laughs> um, uh, so, but it, 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 was a, it was a lovely experience. Uh, and, the, and the woman I was, uh, uh, the contestant I was paired with first, uh, uh, well, I'm not going to say. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to say. Well, people to watch. Yeah, yes, 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 it's very important to watch. Just watch. It's very important to watch. John, she was Bernadette. lovely. Bernadette, she was awesome. Yes. John, thank mm-hmm. you. That thank Password you episode here. airs tonight. Extended Family, his new show, that's going to premiere Saturday, December 23rd, 8 p.m. Right out. Ooh. Nice. Oh, they think a lot of the Pushy show. That's coming on right after the NFL <laughs> game on NBC. Yes. All right. Steelers, Bengals. Okay. Catch it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.